Hi everybody, Beanmeister22 here, and I know many of you out there are concerned with viruses and ways to kill and get rid of viruses. So today we're going to look at the House Smile handheld portable UV sanitizing vacuum cleaner. This specifically says it was made for vacuuming beds and things such as that. It's supposed to kill bed bugs and germs and viruses. It's supposed to sanitize the surface. And they do that with a UV light. And yes, it is the proper kind of UV light. It is UVC. UVA and UVB really don't do the job. But the problem with UVC is it's the most dangerous. You can't look at a UVC bulb when it's going. You don't want to touch it to your skin. If you look at it, it would be like staring into the sun. It's just, it, it's horrible. It's very dangerous. If you're not sure, do a little search, whether you go to Wikipedia or one of the online sources, and it'll tell you really how dangerous UVC is. So in theory, because they're using the UVC, it should kill all these bad kind of things. Germs, viruses, bed bugs, well, maybe. And UV stands for ultraviolet. It's, it's way up on the light scale. You normally can't see it with your naked eyes. So first off, we make sure that it has everything here attached. So it has a filter in there. It pops in there. It's not really that easy, but it pops in. This has a handle. Now, I read some online reviews, and people are not impressed with a handle, and let me show you why. They say it seems flimsy, and it bends, but the instructions that came with this guarantees, well, I don't know, guarantees, it specifically says that even though the handle seems flimsy, it is designed to hold the weight of the vacuum, but I'm not sure, because this vacuum has a stout weight to it. I'm impressed with the weight of the vacuum. So the handle, yeah, I don't know. I mean, could we break it? Maybe not. Maybe it actually has some, it's strong nylon instead of plastic, and maybe it can take the weight, but it does flex a lot, and it just kind of has that flimsy feeling. So I could see where a lot of people are not happy with that, but honestly, I'm going to use it as a hand vac. I'm not going to be using the handle. So really, if you want this for its supposed virus and germ-killing abilities, you know, I wouldn't really mind that handle, or I wouldn't give that no never mind. And really quick, I don't want to damage my table. It says if you leave it in one place for more than five seconds, it could fade the cloth or whatever you're vacuuming. Now, this table of mine cost a lot of money, and I don't want to do any damage to it. You know, UV light will fade things. Curtains, if you leave something out in the sun, it will fade it. And UVC, like I said, is the strongest and most dangerous of the UV wavelengths. It, it really has good suction. It's not overly loud, but it's got some, some sound to it, so I'm not afraid of it. You know, I want it to be loud. That means the motor's just working and sucking hard. And it seems to have good suction. So as a handheld vacuum cleaner, Seems to have good suction, but I don't see evidence of the UV light coming on. So, yeah, I'm really not sure about that. The pictures online show a bright UV light coming from underneath the vacuum, as well as these two little viewports or windows on the top. I'm not seeing it. But maybe, maybe, they, maybe you can't see the UV light, so you don't know if the bulb's working. Maybe you can't see it. And that light that we see on the online ads is just an enhancement. Enhanced, I'm making finger quotes now, is just a way to signify showing you that it's, yeah. Okay, with further inspection, you can just barely see a little bit of blue light coming out of these inspection windows on the top. Maybe I'll try turning the lights off, see if it can camera can pick it up better. Well, maybe that's a little better, but yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure if it... But like I said, the pictures we're seeing online might just be, hey, it, people need to see that there's a bright, good quality light coming out of there. And, and maybe that's truth in advertising? I, yeah, we need to talk about that, right? So one thing I want to check here is there's something they warn you against of not leaving this in one place for more than five seconds because it could fade the color in what you're vacuuming. Because UV light does fade, right? So I have this nearly new pair of sweatpants. They're a really dark blue. I'm thinking, maybe we put this on there, we should get a fade mark.
Well, there was no fading, no evidence of fading. Let's try it again. Alright, still no evidence of fading. So let's try, I have a brand new t-shirt, which I just got at Walmart. Never been washed, the stickers are still on it. And if anything ever was going to fade, it's, you know, brand new before you've washed it. So let's try that. So there is no evidence of fading, and it's not warm. Cord, we got to talk about the cord. This cord is very thin. Now, it's like a telephone cord. Oh, for you, those of you out there who don't know what a telephone is, before you had this little smartphone you carried in your pocket, there was these things we plugged into the wall. So yeah, that the power cord is like that thick, like a telephone cord. That is really weird. I don't know how many amps this is. It can't be that many. Well, okay. I have no idea how many amps it is, but it is a 400 watt vacuum cleaner. So it's got to be a couple amps, right? So I would be afraid of that cord and running it a long time and overheat. I, yeah, I, I don't know. That cord is very thin. Okay, so let's break it down for you. Let's talk about the pros and cons. Let's start with the cons because there's more of them than the pros. The cord is very thin. It's like a telephone cord. The handle is very flimsy and flexes a lot, but like I said, maybe it's stronger than it appears. And yeah, I guess the biggest con would be we have no idea if this UV light is actually working. And when you're paying between, I don't know, $75 to $100 for something that's supposed to kill germs and viruses with a UV light, well, you probably need some proof it's working. The UV light, if it even is a UV light, and if it even works, is nowhere near as bright as the pictures they have online. Maybe they need to have a little disclaimer saying it's, you know, animated for some kind of purposes or something, because I'm not seeing it. And going online and looking at the reviews, I'm seeing a lot of people saying their UV light did not work and does not work, but that may not be 100% correct, because like I said, it is so faint... It is so faint that maybe it's working and they don't know that it's working. So there is that possibility. So let's talk about the pros. It has good weight and heft to it. It doesn't feel cheaply made. I've seen some people online say it feels cheap, but other than the handle, which is really weird, and like I said, that might just be kind of just us misinterpreting the way it flexes. Now, somewhere I read that this unit is also supposed to help kill the bed bugs by the high temperature. It says 130 degrees will also help kill the bed bugs. Now, I'm not seeing it. It's warm. We run it for a little bit. I mean, I mean, sorry, it's not warm. It's cool to the touch. Is it possible the bulb itself, which you're not supposed to touch, is maybe hot? Or do they mean the heat coming off the motor after you've run this for a while? But I'm not seeing any warmth. Even on the t-shirt where we set it down, it wasn't warm after all that time. So I'm not seeing that. But we don't have bed bugs where I live 
So I'm not really concerned with that. But I am concerned with a claim like that because if you can't believe that simple one, like, you know, a vacuum cleaner that heats up that kills a bed bug, which would seem common, right? How can you believe a claim that the UV light is actually a real UV light killing germs and viruses and not just some little Christmas light thing here? And a very dim Christmas light at that, right? So, yeah, I'm not sure. It seems to have good suction, and I'm really impressed with that. But like I said, I'm not sure about the UV light. And if the UV light is actually working and it's killing germs and viruses like it says, then yeah, then that would definitely be a pro, right? But there's no way for me to tell. Okay, so at this time, we need to talk about some safety things. If this actually is a UVC lamp, it is very dangerous. From the uh, product booklet... This product contains and uses a high-intensity UV light. The UV light is powerful and may cause discoloration to fabric and flooring if switched on and left stationary for more than five seconds. Well, we didn't experience that. Important here. Do not for any reason look at or touch the UVC lamp when activated. Strong re strongly reflected germicidal ultraviolet rays are harmful to the eyes and the skin of both humans and it says animal and animals uvc is really bad don't touch it don't it'll burn you don't aim it at your skin don't look at it with your eyes do not touch the uvc lamp even after use it may still be hot and may still burn the skin if that is the case then maybe that's where they get that 130 degree temperature so it's not actually, it's what goes into the dust hopper would be 130 degrees, and that's how they kill the bed bugs? Yeah, I don't know. If for any reason you look into the light or touch the bulb and experience any discomfort, contact your GP or hospital immediately for advice. And I don't think that's just a disclaimer. I think you really need to do that, because like I said, if this really is UVC, it, bad news. Do not leave this plugged in when unattended. Well, that's just good common sense right there, right? Do not use outdoors or on wet surfaces. Do not use appliance in any other way except described in this manual. And it's mostly in English with a back part in Chinese. Do not use the appliance if there's something wrong with the plug. Turn off before unplugging. Do not unplug the appliance by pulling by the cord, especially if it says cord that's as thin as a telephone thing. Do not try to vacuum animals. Well, yeah, you'll burn them. Do not drop the product. You could damage UV light. And then it says, note, if you have a sensitive skin complaint, please consult, and then they did, that's one word, they didn't put a space there, please consult your doctor before using the appliance. This product, also one word, no space between those two words, is designed for home use only. All right, so, if we're trying to kill viruses and germs <coughs> on surfaces that we can vacuum, and this operates and actually does what it says, then yes, this would be a really good unit. Because UVC, okay, go down to the description section of my video. There'll be a link which will talk about some of the about UVC and what it does, some of the safety and risks of UVC. It will kill germs and viruses. Will this kill COVID-19? Well, it is a virus, and it, so, you know, it's not going to make it a super virus, you know, like the Incredible Hulk. But no, it should kill viruses, and it should kill germs, and it says it kills bed bugs. So if it works like it says, then yeah, then this, this would be a good thing to get. As for not being able to tell if the UV light works, well, you're not supposed to see UV anyways. You might see a very, you know, little bit of glow if you got it on in the dark, maybe. But this is outside of the wavelength that most humans can see. So yeah, I don't, I'm not really concerned with that part, at least not much. All right, what do you think? Have you seen this? Have you heard of this? What do you think? Leave your comments in the comment section, as always. Thanks for watching. Beanmeister22, the most dangerous man on YouTube.